Senator Hatch is in the room, and um, I, I wanted to just get your take on where things stand with mental health. If you're going to go to a, a, a study, um, and it, it, whether that makes it more difficult if you have to finish this in the election year. Uh, thank you. There, there's been kind of a misinterpretation. What we have now in the in the in the House, uh, after three weeks of a joint working group of House and Senate members, we have refined and actually gotten more detailed in a framework for mental health, uh, uh, a new mental health system. Early in the year, Senate File 209 repealed the mental health county by county system and repealed the county levy. Uh, there's a date that a new system will go into effect, which will be 2013. In real sense, we're doing the same thing the federal government did with the Affordable Care Act, where we have established a new system, a framework, that will be statewide, regionally administered, and locally delivered. And we are asking now work groups to be established with the Department of Human Services to bring in all the stakeholders. This is a very complicated system, which talks about core services, outcomes, delivery, and most important, funding for the new system. Um, we could make those decisions now, I guess, but in this environment, that probably wouldn't happen. So we're engaging the supervisors, the providers, uh, consumers, families, advocates of mental health. So we'll have work groups, and then we'll have an interim committee um, as soon as the legislature convene, um, um, adjourns. And uh, works, work, we will work with those work groups, and we will have a plan for a new system with more details that, that establishes all the requirements of a new health care uh, mental health system in January for this for the ne next year's legislature to pass. Was it hasty to actually repeal the old system before you knew exactly what it was going to take to do it? Well, uh, you, could, you could argue that, except that we've been talking about this for five or six years. Sometimes you need a catalyst for action. And that was, a, that was a Republican proposal that was accepted by the Democrats as a real call for an acknowledgement that the mental health system needed to be changed. And because of that, there is no option for us. Now, whether or not we started in 2013 or 2012 is going to be dependent further on the budget discussions, the priorities of, uh, of the two chambers and the governor, and how we're going to fund the local uh, share of this. So there's significant um, issues that we have to resolve and and like we did with the health care reform commission that you remember a couple years ago what that was so successful is because we engaged people in the discussion of mental health reform including the customers the counties uh, the deliverer of services and hospitals and providers so this is um, this is not a study this is a real reform and it's proceeding uh, within I think in a deliberate and, and thoughtful manner yeah, so is this one area where I, I, let, let's be clear, this, we're not making any d real decisions this year. The decision has been made to sunset it. We're going through a process that is going to draw up a new way to deliver these services. So there's not going to be any agreement on that this year. There's going to be a set of work groups that are going to work through that, come back to the legislature next January, and make a recommendation to us. And we may like the recommendation, dislike the recommendation, who knows? So, um, so, so there, it, all the only bipartisan um, agreement here is we need to plan a new system, okay. but not the end result of what that system is going to be. Plenty so, well, we'll actually have a little bit of information. Yeah, I have to, I have yeah. to reinforce that this is a this is a really this complicated is a system process. And what we have agreed to is eliminate the old system. We, have a, we, have a, we, we know regions is, is a better way to provide service because you build on capacity. And then you'll have, a, you'll have a core service that everybody in the state's going to receive. Right now, it's, it's really a, a, a kind of a discharge of the local providers and local supervisors on what they want to provide their county residents. So it'll be a statewide system. And then what we'll, you'll have is, is a framework. It, it's more than just kind of a hope and a prayer. And to answer your question, really, Kathy, there is bipartisan support and working together. We're committed to doing that. Um, we've always been committed to doing that, and I think the, the leader would agree that it's that kind of bipartisanship that if, if the Republicans and the governor want to do that in the budget area, we're prepared to do that.